Hello viewers and my returning subscribers. I greet you all according to your time of watching this video in your home country. How you all been doing? Um, it's been cold in the United States. Our topic today is a controversial one. Is it better to have a joint or separate account in your marriage or not? Hmm. Joint account on its own is a good project where the husband and wife pull all their resources together okay to help plan their lives as they stay uh, together have children send uh, their children to school you know etc joint accounts can be a good way to combine and grow your money to work towards your common goals so it is a very good project they can also help uh, couples keep each other in check on spending habits, saving on fees, joint accounts might also save on penalties and fines, you know, but owners of the joint account have access to the money though in the account. Both of them have access to it and the money there belongs to both of them, irrespective of uh, who owns it or who paid it in or you know whose money it is the other account holder will be able to see what the other person is spending money on so of course it's not, it's not a secret it's open so if one of the account holders takes money out of the joint account there aren't many options of getting that money back it's been taken it's been taken so if the account goes overdrawn each joint account holder is responsible for the whole amount that is owed. So, some couple have had a big uh, fight on this, where one of the spouse refuses to do joint accounts. The other spouse is not happy about it and feel that uh, there is no trust in their marriage. Although this is something they should have uh, sorted out before they married anyway, during their courtship. If they cannot have a joint account so there is no trust the purpose of the joint account is for the couple to join resources together to do laudable uh, uh, projects to you know and we have already highlighted uh, the uh, you know the goodness of it and because people's uh, experiences with joint account over the years very very few people do joint accounts in their marriages we are human beings and we change with time as the years go by some couple begin to ask themselves you know if it is the same man or the same woman they have been married to years back one of the spouse can just decide to empty the account or start withdrawing money from the account without the consent of the other spouse you find couples over the years keeping secrets from themselves or involved in with a, a involved in extramarital affairs that leads to secret withdrawals of funds from the account this has led to instability no trust or divorce in marriages majority of the time it is the men that disappoint their spouses. Don't get me wrong, some women also are culprits when they are now living above their means, having uh, peer pressure, buying or wanting to do what their friends are doing or involved with. So they will secretly uh, be withdrawing from uh, their joint accounts. So it's it's both ways there are still some perfect couples that has good understanding of having a joint account some people still do it and, are, and they are faithful to it till date so kudos to them but they are very few please like this video comment share and subscribe if you have not yet done so also click on the notification bell for other videos I will upload. 
thank you for uh, doing uh, that. My own take on this matter, in order to avoid the problems of uh, having uh, uh, a total joint account, which most couple in these days is to have a joint account where some percentage of their money agreed on by both of them is opened with that and both parties have to sign to withdraw money and each of them will still have their personal accounts whatever is their personal needs like helping their family members or friends or buying their or personal things or take they can take care of such needs from their own personal accounts same goes with the man and whatever the need is of the marriage like mortgage uh, or rent children's welfare uh, school fees family vacation etc is taken from the joint account so they have a a, 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 an account that is joint and they have their own personal uh, account so the couple will decide what the joint account will be used for so with that there is less tension in the home and both parties will be able to manage their resources better and be happier with each other while in some marriages a joint account is a no-no that doesn't mean that uh, that is not a, a good marriage or they will not be happy so both parties decide who will take up a task they share the responsibility between themselves for example the man pays the mortgage or rent pays the children's school fees while the woman feeds everyone takes care of uh, uh, feeding and buy the children's uh, clothing and they share other tasks as they arise so it depends on what the couple wants so if you are about to get married or you are not married which will you do and why please put it in the comment section so that we would uh, learn from it from you too so i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching till the end and uh, hope you learned something from from this video see you in my next video stay blessed bye from grandma esohe god bless